23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Today, 21 special banners were hung up in downtown Bakersfield honoring the brave men and women who are currently in our military. The Kern River Blue Star Moms hung the hometown hero banners to honor active duty service members. They were put up on light posts in the Amtrak Station playground on Truxton Avenue. The Blue Star Moms say it's a way for anyone coming through Bakersfield to see how the city honors and recognizes the sacrifice from these service members. Tomorrow will mark one year since the passing of former Mayor Harvey Hall. Hall, who founded Hall Ambulance, died on May 19th, 2018 due to complications from Kreutzfeldt Jakob disease. He served 16 years as the city's mayor and is remembered for celebrating the good in Bakersfield and, of course, for his fashion style. Cal State Bakersfield is honoring Hall's legacy with the Harvey L. Hall Plaza at the Icardo Center. Officials say the plaza is on pace to be unveiled next year. Since 2017, Comrades in Canopies has been taking veterans to new heights. Multiple times a year, the organization takes vets free of charge on skydiving trips at, at Skydive Taft. Any and all vets are welcome. Today, 28 veterans took the jump at Skydive Taft. Organizers say skydiving is a way to build camaraderie and reinvigorate those vets who may be struggling at home. And this winter storm continues to make its way through Kern County. Some weather headlines to be aware of with this system. Those showers are going to continue overnight, so we're already seeing that good soaking countywide. That's going to continue in those overnight hours, and there is a chance of high elevation snow. That snow level is starting at 8,000 feet, but it's going to drop down to 6,000 feet tomorrow, and we are tracking the chance of thunderstorms tomorrow as well. So that system is going to continue to move through, bring those showers, possible thunderstorms, and high elevation snow. There is a winter storm warning that is in effect now that will go until 11 p.m. tonight and those temperatures are going to dip significantly. This is a winter like storm, a cold front, so we're going to dip back down to those mid to upper 60s across the valley. 44 as that high in Fraser Park, 53 in Dehatchby, 46 up in Lake Isabella and those cooler temperatures are going to continue over the next few days and then we'll start warming back up to those 80s by Friday. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.